Hey guys, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I've been looking at some of my retro, uh, I say retro, oh, it is retro, isn't it now? It's uh, Xbox 360, um, which is 17 years old. Yes, the Xbox 360 is 17 years old. What the fuck? Anyway, because I've been looking at my collection and I've been adding to my collection, uh, I've been going through my shelves and I found this gem here, Full Auto. Uh, I put a hell of a lot of time into this game way back in the day and I thought, why not give it a go? Oh, and if anyone's curious, uh, most people probably know, but the reason my 360 looks so weird and um, <clears throat> non-standard is because it's... a uh, modded one. Uh, in fact, I can just rip my games to my hard drive and play them uh, without even going anywhere near the disc, which is pretty cool. So anyway, just in case that clears anything up. Um, yeah, so full auto. This was like a car combat racing game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this came out um, when the 360 dropped. I'm sure it was a launch game. If not, it was there pretty early on. There was another... Um, Yeah, there was another game. Um, a sequel, if I remember correctly. And I'm just, uh, hang on, my audio is still set up for Skies of Arcadia. Of course it is, because that's what I've been playing. You absolute dumbass. Now, this is one of those games that it's actually going to really bother me. Because um, there's loads of achievements for this game that I haven't actually got. I don't actually use this Xbox to play online anyway because it's literally just uh, a modded system for game preservation. Uh, achievements. So, there are quite a few achievements here that, from what I can remember, they're just online. Ooh, master AI difficulty. Finish first place in point to point. Okay, so a lot of them are apparently to do with master difficulties. Unfortunately, it doesn't show me, or doesn't say when I last unlocked these, which is slightly disappointing. So this was published by Sega anyway. Um, yeah, a lot of these are online achievements, which obviously, this game didn't do very well. Like, uh, it didn't have a lot of stopping power online, so it died pretty bloody quickly. Uh, let's just save the hard drive, sure. There is no game data on this device. Would you like to create one? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, this has crazy destructible environments as well. Let's just go for an arcade race. Ah, oh, man, I remember this. So, yeah, like, there's point-to-point -point races, there's rampages. There's, so, this is a car combat game. So, it's a racing game, but you actually have weapons. Do you remember that genre? I remember that genre. Uh, it seems to have been pretty much um, abandoned these days. Oh, my God, everything's locked. Let's go for Gauntlet. Head through the market and make your way across town. Now, I haven't played this game since probably, I don't know, 2000 and whenever this game came out. So, you know. Oh, we've got like no cars to unlock. I remember this game uh, really impressing me visually because this is one of the earliest uh, HD games that I actually ever saw. So, I'm going to look forward. You can change skins. I'm going to look forward to seeing how this game runs. I remember it running really well. But you can blow the shit out of everything. Uh, let's go for like this pink Jupiter, shall we? Okay, so... That one is actually faster. That one's got worse handling. But that is way more durable. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, there were different loadouts. So we had Tactical, Melee, Annihilator, Devastator. We only have Assault, which is twin link machine guns. Uh, we've got Mines as well. Okay. I don't even remember what the controls are, to be honest, guys. We're just going to jump in and see how well this game holds up. Causing destruction refills your unwreck meter. I remember that. Yeah, somehow. You can actually rewind, which was pretty cool, to be honest, back in the day. Um, I think quite a few racing games do that now, where you can actually rewind gameplay. 
Or at least one or two do that. Whereas that was like a new thing for this game. It was eight players online as well. Now, I don't think I had Xbox Live. Oh, God. Rolling start. Ah, weapons are all overheated and locked. I remember that for a set amount of time. Okay. It's... Yep, we're already dropping some frames. Already severely dropping some frames, but I do remember this area. Oh, shredded his ass. Hey, that actually makes me think a little bit of burnout. Now, it is a shame that you don't really get these combat car racing games. Combat car racing games? Oh, get the hell out of here, dude. Anymore, because it was such a fun genre. And admittedly, it was like the only genre of racing game that I... Ooh, that sucked. That I was ever really that interested in. Because... Oh, we've got some pounding music as well. Because I just find normal racing games pretty boring. Apart from Gran Turismo 1, when that first dropped. Oh, hey, the controls, you know. They're not bad. They hold up reasonably well. Ooh, I say, as I completely burger that up. Um... Do you know it hasn't held up well at all, though? The frame rate. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of ass all over the place. But then, that was kind of a thing, really. Back in the 360 and PlayStation 3 era. I mean, yeah, we were still very much... Ah, oh, I burgered that up. In the territory where, you know, if you had a fluid 30 frames a second, uh, that was like, you know, luxury. Ooh, we got perforated. 720p at 60 frames a second was like unheard of. A couple of games pulled it off, but not many. I know Call of Duty was very much popularized for uh, its 60 FPS gameplay. Um, I can't really remember too many 60 FPS games that were on the PS3 and the 360 gen. Now, I don't know. Ah, we've got boost. Oh, we've got mines. We've got machine guns. What else have we got going on? Ah, there we go. I don't know what X did. Did something. Ah, I think X is the handbrake. Push the handbrake, you're going to have a bad time. Right, so... Uh, right bumper is our rewind. Ah, there's the boy. So left bumper is boost. And we get our boost by causing mayhem. Now there's lots of little... Um... Oh god. There's lots of hidden routes and stuff through each level, which is quite fun, through each track. Uh... Should we try again, or should we go for another race? That was a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, 2006. So it wasn't a launch game, but it came in the first year. Um, yeah, interesting. The game actually looks very nice, to be fair. Surprisingly good. Let's see if we can get better than fourth. I mean, fourth is for pussies. I like this rolling start that we get. Weapons jam straight away. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me some guns. So we got our mines. Mines are pretty much working straight away. Let's drop these mines like they're going out of fashion. Come on, you bastards. Now, remember, you kind of want to avoid combat as much as you can. You want to just blast your way through the pack. Definitely don't want to stay in front of people. Hit that slide. There we go. Slider around the corner. Lovely. Keep popping those mines. Mines. Oh, that was not fantastic. But hey, we blew up half of the universe there. Yeah, shame about the frame rate. If they could have um, got this to like a nice solid 30, would have felt really good, I'd imagine. Heaven forbid a 60 FPS. Okay, we're doing well. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that frame jug, man. Dude. Those power PC CPUs really 
weren't that fantastic. Whoa, this guy's popping mines. Jesus, that's fine. You wouldn't want to live in this town, that's for sure. That guy's fucked. Ooh, jeez. Okay, it's cool. It's fine. I don't mind going through the air, even if it is sideways. Keep those mines going. Yeah, I will say, to this game's credit, uh, it handles really well. Man, they nailed that. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Just slide this puppy right round there. Look at that. Hey, you little sly pepper. I don't think so. Suck my mind. Ah, lush. Uh, it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite Dreamcast games, uh, Speed Devils. Speed Devils was kind of like a destruction racing game, sort of. Uh, but there were no weapons involved. It was just all about standard racing, but the tracks evolved in Speed Devils, uh, which I always thought was cool. Um, each lap, the track would change, and you had some really interesting stuff, like you'd have dinosaurs um, on the Hollywood map, I remember that, or you'd have alien invasions and stuff happening, uh, and yeah, every lap you passed, something new would happen to twist the actual um, racetrack up. That was such a good game, Speed Devils. Hey, first point, well, we got first, but we didn't get gold, but that's okay. Okay, race over. I'm going to have to try and track down Full Auto 2 for the PlayStation um, 3. I think it was, it was essentially the same game, but they added loads and loads of stuff to it, I think. I might be wrong. Take out bystanders and get to the finish line on time. Yeah, I think this one gives you a quota of how many enemies that you need to take out. Ah, oh, see, we've only got that one track. Still got Gauntlet. So we can... We've tried the Jupiter. Let's try the Python. Let's have... Let's have a nice red. Let's go. Still only got Assault, unfortunately. Log into Xbox Live to compare your high scores with all the other people that don't play this game anymore. Yeah, the first game that I actually played on Xbox Live was Halo 3. And man, that was fun. So 40 kills, oof, to get gold. Damn, son. 30 kills to finish bronze. Alright, let's see what we can do. Unwreck maxed. Nice. Music's good. Ooh, hey, oh, right, hang on. Okay, so we can shoot anything, basically. Any vehicle. Four in a row. Oh, this is going to be kill-tacular. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. You ever wanted to murder your way through a city, I guess? Burnout style. I think this kind of got um, compared to Burnout quite a bit from what I can remember. At least in a lot of the reviews. But obviously, you know, not not quite the same thing. Burnout didn't have weapons. Come on, we still need eight more kills to get bronze. Whoa, dude. No, that was savage. <laughs> shredded. Yeah, it really doesn't like going around that corner with anything remotely close to 30 frames a second. We get 10 if we're lucky, I think. So we've lost our front armor, which is curious because we're not actually fighting anyone. But we're ramming everything, I guess. So this is interesting. So not only do you have to be fast, you have to um, be slow and accurate enough to take out as many targets as we can. Might actually have been worth taking as much advantage of this place as we can, these highways. We've lost all of our armor, man. Game over, man. Game over. Oh, savage. 
Right, so we can use a little bit of our rewind there. There we go. And go back into the open track. You can get used to using this rewind. <laughs> oh man, what are we on? Hey, okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. We've got 43 kills, so we've got all the kills we need. So let's hit it. Ooh, hit it until you become a burning fireball anyway. Yeah, we're so low on armor. Yep, <laughs> even the slightest tap. Oh, we're out of uh, rewind as well. Dude. All right, well, at least we've got a brand new car. So we can wreck some more cars, so that's fine. Now we just need to take it home. Oh, I tell you what, it really feels nice to throw these cars around the corner. Whoa, that was bad. Three in a row, I'll take it. How do we do? Oh, our time sucked. We got bronze. I spent way too much time trying to fish for kills there. Visually, the game's not bad either, you know, for a very early um, Xbox 360 game. I mean, it looks clearly better than anything you would have seen on PlayStation 2 or original Xbox or GameCube. It's very sharp as well. Very happy with that. Full Auto, Sega Corporation. I mean, it's a shame what happened to the series, you know? I don't know really why it died, because it was really fun. And you would have thought, um, you know, if given the proper love and attention and, and, you know, enough time for the series to grow, they could have done something really interesting with it. Ah, oh, there is a career mode. There we go. That's how you unlock cars and tracks and all that kind of stuff. Tutorials. Oh no, it's going to force us to do the tutorials. That ain't no good. Head to head, the two player. I vaguely remember playing a lot of the two player, I think. Uh, and then just the arcade stuff, which we've already seen. Well, I think this gives us a reasonable look at Full Auto and does it still hold up? Uh, I mean, I've only played a few games and I've had a hell of a good time. I would actually quite happily probably sit down here and play this for most of the night. Uh, however, then my bath will get cold, so yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't be so good. But anyway, guys, that's Full Auto on the Xbox 360. This game is extraordinarily cheap as well. I think I paid two pound fifty for this. Uh, I bought it a few months back now. Um, yeah, I think if you're itching for some car combat. You could do worse. Anyway, guys, till next time.